Metal filament 3D printing using the type of desktop printer behind me is a really interesting proposition to get to fully dense stainless steel parts. Metal additive manufacturing or 3D printing often comes with very significant running costs, very significant health and safety costs and very significant other considerations to be able to make fully dense metal components using additive manufacturing. The stainless steel filaments made by BASF in both 316L and 174PH blends is an ideal way to get involved with this method of metal additive manufacturing. And together with the print material profile generated together with Ultimaker makes it relatively straightforward to start 3D printing metal parts. You just need to ensure that you've got the correct hardened steel nozzle to print with these materials and the correct bed adhesion and you're good to go in terms of 3D printing. What you do need to consider though is the next stage which is post-processing of the parts through what's called debind and sintering. That's a two-stage process. The first stage is debinding where the polymer content in the filament is actually taken away leaving just behind the metal powder. That then leads to the second part of the process called sintering where that metal powder is fused together to a final part that is 96 to 98 percent dense. The other thing that you need to understand through the debinding and sintering process are the limitations that you have on the design and the 3D printing of the parts that come before it. That means understanding things like part shrinkage, wall thicknesses, density, overhangs and all of those kind of considerations to ensure that you can get to a successfully post-processed part. So in understanding each part of the process, you can get to a successful metal 3D printed part like this one that can be made on a desktop printer like the one beside me.